Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today? I am your Planetary Defense Commander, Star-Lord New Thor 7, the T. And I'm going to be on my best behavior, putting on all my bells and whistles, trying to earn some extra money for my birthday on the 19th and then Christmas. Yeah, that probably won't work too well, though. There's probably a good chance I'll be cussing or whatever. Because the energy is weird and I'm in a strange mood. But right now, we are looking at a whole lot of anomalies and scary shit in our atmosphere. Things have been wild, getting wilder. And now, you and I are looking at the clouds that have been streaming over the United States of America and Mexico and Canada over the last few days. I don't know if you know this. And the sun acts weird. Earth weather acts weird. The people act weird. And Nibiru, I found him. Boom, he's in our atmosphere. Nah, that's just a low pressure system dressed up like Nibiru, which is weird because it's the middle of December. All right. Yeah. Now, this isn't really a joking matter, but I talk about this stuff all day, every day, almost. And so, I do the best I can to keep you guys laughing and inspired, even if it is doomy, gloomy, and the end of the world. So bear with me, or you can go find this news in a very serious fashion in other places. But, so, this is crazy. I mean, this is America, that's Canada, that's Mexico, and that is low pressure. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's even go over to the, man, I set everything up. And now I gotta go off script. Oh dang. Or my let's go to pressure. Oh, I'm logged in. I am. Let's zoom it out, shall we? Oh yeah, so the blue is usually some type of rain and wild wacky wind area. Oh, crap, I don't know how to read that. Don't give me HKG, give me the other one. Uh, fail. Anyway, but yeah, you see how that is, that's some low pressure, man. That is some freaking low pressure. Um, and so, I had pointed out that I think on November 30th, we had a 7.2 earthquake in Alaska. And then on the 5th, we had an earthquake in by Vanatu, and then we had a 7-2 on the 10th, and like, was it the New Sandwich Islands? Anyway, so, tomorrow, the 15th is the day we would get our next 7-0 earthquake if the pattern holds, and I got a feeling it will. And here we're looking at total cloud water, and as you can see, there's a whole lot of total cloud water and wind headed for the Pacific coast for Canada, California, and that's just, it's crazy, man, I'm telling you, I'm not joking, like, carbon loves to make giant alien shrimp shapes in our sky for some reason, again and again and again and again, of course, I need you to know, I'm not big on the carbon, man, I'm big on what we call planetary orbital angular momentum, and so, I think there are pressure forces that come from the inside of our planet and the outside of our planet. Because I don't know if you know this, Earth is in a solar system. And so we have a bunch of other planets too. And so if you see here that we got the gas giants, the bigger outer planets. And um, so like there's the sun and there's Jupiter. And there's Uranus. So, like, all the major gas giants are now kind of in a, what is that, 40% of the whole region? So, that angular momentum is going to cause changes in the planet's atmosphere and even the sun on pressure points. Okay. I know that might be hard for you to handle, but we're going over it. But, yeah, it's a, so the next three to six years, we're going to see more earthquakes volcano eruptions, and crazy-ass wild weather. Now, it's not super doomy unless we continue to keep doing the weird shit we are doing now. 
in our world. I'm way off script. Man. Crap, that's gonna affect my fun money. Okay, so we're looking at the giant kernel hole, and I don't think these qualify as sunspots, but let us note, just for our records, there are four strange spots sort of on the sun. I don't think they qualify as sunspots. Oh, hell, let's go over to spaceweather.com. That looks like another coronal hole. It's like 40% of the sun is a coronal hole now. That's interesting. So it's streaming out solar winds at almost all times. Yeah, so there's our coronal hole. See, those don't count as sunspots. And then we have a coronal hole at the bottom, and so we'll be getting hit by that in a couple of days. And the earthquake time may line up right around here whenever this faces Earth, which is in about our 24-hour range, but look for that 7-0 earthquake in the next 48 hours. All right, where are we at? Oh, man, I got a bunch of good information for you, though. But see this storm right here, the one that I made the storm about? Luckily, it wasn't as bad with the higher, higher winds, but it's a doozy, man. Check this thing out. Like, that's a pretty wild the rain lately. This five hour goes east water vapor loop shows moisture streaming north ahead of an upper low over east Texas. The upper low will move to north Alabama by Saturday morning with dying conditions over the mid south Saturday afternoon. Wait, let me get you guys up to speed. See that? That's a storm right now. Oh man, I'm so. What am I doing here? River. We're going to look at. Wonder, we haven't we haven't played this game in a while, and women love this game. It's called How Many Rivers Are Flooding in the United States Right Now? I'm guessing a couple. 67. We got 67 rivers flooding, and we're going through our stormy periods. Well, we will get wave after wave after wave after wave in the near future. This takes a second to load, so, but yeah, so we can have, we have a ton of rivers at either minor flooding and then we got five and six in major and moderate flooding on the very east coast and then in the texas gulfish area as the storm continues to trail east and it is going to move slowly out east and even up in the north we're getting snow for all you wonderful snow weenies this should light a little bit of a fire up in your Canadian areas. Canadial? Eh, it sounds like a word. And this crazy jet coming out of the Caribbean is crazy, man. Yeah, this thing is going to cause some problems, shall we say. Now let's look at the the giant water. Just look at that. that. The green is water. And then the yellow and red is a whole lot of water. And then that's, that's snow and ice. As you can see, this system here, I would say even if 30% of this ends up here, that's going to cause a whole lot of problems. Now, these systems have been changing. But, I mean, so if you tie that giant amount of moisture with one behind it, and then you go back to, like, looking at that thing, I mean, that is, I mean, that that's a monster, man. That thing is just freaking incredible. Yeah. And so, what is going on? I don't know. Officially, we're trying to figure that out. We just know, you know, smoke if you got them. Um, it's best to be prepared and have a plan. And, you know, the blue is low pressure, and then the red is really low pressure. But that system right there is, it's a trip. And... Hey, give me wind. Okay. So the we had the earthquake in Alaska. And then the other earthquake was over here. And then the third one was I think over here somewhere. Crap. I'll have to go really look it up. We got there's your jet stream. It is super fan angled. It always breaks off and gets mangled. It's real wonky around America for some reason. Like, it's a semi-normal jet stream the rest of the way around the world. Although, but then from Europe to 
Canada gets real wonky. Remember, you had erupting volcanoes here, you have erupting volcanoes here, you have erupting volcanoes here, you have erupting volcanoes here, here, and here, and here. I need to get better about the this side of the ring of fire. And then we were getting earthquakes in strange places. So, like, everything is super interesting. You know, if you're into this type of shit. Hey, it's like a snake trying to eat its tail. Have I provided any good information yet? Dang. I try. Yeah, so there's your, your spinner that's moving out. And then we'll be watching a trailing low. What do we want to go down first? Then I'll show you a model. All right. Is the GFS already 10 minutes in? It's like every time I start getting my groove back, the universe sucker punches me. It's like, don't worry. It's for your own good. And I know it is. So I listen to my old videos and I'm way cooler now than I used to be. Yeah, I mean, these rain bands are pretty gargantuan. And then I want you to watch how somewhere towards the end of the, in like 10 days, it starts flinging some systems at California, Oregon, and Washington with some pretty fast speeds. Look at those two things splitting apart like goggles. Like I think it's about right about here. Boom. There's one. Boom. And here comes another. Boom. See that? And that one just rakes down the coast. So that's pretty odd for that area. And then I've coined a new meteorological term. It's called a secondary trailing low. So we're used to, you know, the low moving through and being super stormy. But now it has like a second low that follows after it. And so there's, that comes right after it. Let me, it's like, watch, this is the storm now and it's dropping heavy rain over Florida and California, you're about to get rain as well and Oregon. Now, so watch how, here's our storm. And then as, after it moves out, see that, that secondary low that forms, that is a new pattern. And that's just a weird new system. It's a weird new trend we are seeing Mother Nature do. Mother Nature is extremely creative in her processes. And but and then I mean, everybody's all fascinated by Christmas. Like, will I get snow on Christmas? Oh, and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna on Christmas Day. I'm gonna go down to the city. I'm gonna walk around, hang, handing out. Like cigarettes to homeless people. And you may be like, Thor, why would you do that? But if you're a smoker and you didn't have any smokes, and on Christmas Day someone walked up and handed you four cigarettes, you'd be like, oh my God, you're amazing. You know? I am. So that is my plan because I don't have any plans for my birthday and Christmas. Uh, who knows? I might even do food, food kitchen, but I'm definitely going to hand out cigarettes to the homeless on Christmas Day. But yeah, so we got some big storms rolling through. See, like, you know, ain't nothing new. It's in our first rodeo. How do I talk so long? I guess there is a lot of things going on. And the UK, I'll have to do another, like, a Europe video later tonight. U UK has been getting a lot of rain and will be continue to be getting a lot of rain. <sighs> Smoke if you got them. That's what I'm doing right now. That is a nasty storm in about four days. And they're coming about five days again. What did I figure out about Christmas? Nothing? Yeah, that, that doesn't look very snowy for many people. So, hey, for as of now, that's like 11 days away. That's forever. I still got cool shit to show you. All right, so there's that. That's, that's pretty amazing. King of Weather Twitter, who has a blog, Storm Hamster, which I highly recommend if you need a full weather breakdown in a super sciencey way. It says, Pacific Peace still looking to catch up just enough to rejuvenate some activity, but will continue to look for light to modest activity. That's amazing. Yeah, I mean, all the processes are super fascinating. Look at this. Satellites captured 
a closed low over Texas this morning. This will be responsible for the weekend's precipitation. Look at those jets exploding, bro. Holy smokes, look at those moisture jets. They're getting me all excited. Yeah. These core processes. And when you do what you fear most, then you can do anything. I fear you, Janet. I fear you. Because you're so beautiful, it would be intimidating. Whatever. I've been in the face of world-class beauty before. And I didn't shake much. Although I did curl my toes. Once. Twice. Three times a lady. The area of low pressure over the southern states is expected to track northeast and deliver a lot of rain. You can see the surface surface low. It's a surface surface low filling up the upper low, becoming vertically stacked. Ooh, vertically stacked. Why'd you stop? You are doing, you were animating and shit. Oh man, now you're flipping around. Now I'm losing my mind. Now the internet's getting mad at me. Come back, baby, come back. Please don't, there you go. Please don't throw it all away. You were wrong. <sighs> it's funny. When I get lonely, I listen to astrology videos on my sign by some very talented and smart women with good voices. And like every third video, they're like, someone is going to apologize to you this month. Like that's bullshit. I haven't heard anybody apologize to anybody in years. Current visible satellite image for this southern heat. And let me apologize for being all the times I was a dick or said rude shit. I try to be cool all the times, but, but we all have our moments of weakness. And sometimes we even do things out of character. Michael Crock, Storm Coolio. All right. Current visible satellite image for the southeastern United States. This is 10 hours ago, but I wanted to show some major atmospheric events. The Ian Livingston on Team Jet Weirding. You can feel the excitement building all around Washington. I may live tweet DCA speckies later. 0 0.06 inches to pass 2003 for the second wettest year on record. So, yeah, records are falling and breaking all over the place, man. This was the jet that went over Florida earlier. Thunderstorms erupting in Gulf to our west along a cold front. Yeah. Because we'll get wild, wild, wild. We'll get wild, wild, wild. That's some crazy action, man. That's just crazy action everywhere. And then here's the moisture coming into the Canada, B.C. area. And then here's the king. A similar scenario up north will occur late Saturday on to late Sunday. Advance of precip. Then a lull retreat. Then the next surge of the final stage as the upper level low comes in. So we'll just have to stay tuned. Got you. You know I got you covered. There's the whole like city. Mars. I mean, no, sorry, that's Earth. Antarctica. It's a lot like Mars. <laughs> Balance. We don't need no stinging balance. Okay, so how did I do? Did I earn any special kudos, rewards, or PayPal events? If so, be sure and donate or contribute to Thor News because this is how I make my money. Through y'all's can contributions and donations. And times you, you know what? This guy has done such an amazing job. I think I shall reward him. How did I do? Yeah, I'll keep at it. I still got five days, but. I can get out of this house anytime now. I think I'm going to be cooped up here all year. You know, it's probably good to get out of the house every once in a while, right? Doesn't science say you should do that? Whatever. Science is a lot of shit. 20 minutes. Okay, I better go. I love you guys. You're fantastic. I'll talk to y'all soon. God bless everyone. And stay cool. Merry Christmas.